Today I want to talk about brakes. There's always a lot of discussion about are ah, mine big enough, I've only got one disc, you've got two, therefore I'm inadequate. Then there's the two pot caliper versus the four pot and floating discs versus not. But I'm just an ignorant rider. When I pull the lever, the bike stops. Isn't that the only thing that's important? I'm riding a Honda NC750X. It's a good all-rounder, but it's only got one disc. So let's have a closer look at what makes this thing stop. Easiest thing to do is to pull off the caliper and have a look at what makes the thing grab hold of that disc. Well, this is a very rudimentary stopping thing. It's only got two pistons, both on the one side. Proper brakes have pistons on both sides. But if I'm out for a ride and I pull on the brake, the bike actually stops pretty well. So what's the problem? Let's have another look at that. I get on the bike and go for a ride. It's a nice sunny day and everything's perfect. So I'm off for a pleasant ride in the sunshine. Not a care in the world. But then suddenly around a corner I have to haul on the brakes because there's a cow standing in the shadows. Well, my two piston single disc brake pulls me up without any problem. So I'm on my way again. To my mind there's much more to stopping than just the hardware on the bike. There's a varying road surface, even on bitumen road. There are wooden bridges, patches, repairs and potholes. And then there are gravel roads. Brakes that don't have a savage bite are actually an advantage on gravel road. A two finger squeeze on the brakes brings the bike to a halt nicely. The surface varies greatly. Sand and gravel on top of a very hard base, making it very skatey. Rough blue metal is really nasty. And as for sand, eight pistons and two discs aren't going to help you with this. Then there's the tyres. Both the condition of the tyre and the type of tyre. A dual purpose tyre is not going to grip as well on the road, but a road tyre is not going to grip as well on gravel. And then there are those who ride with bald tyres, thinking they can save a dollar. Regardless of the bike you ride, or what sort of equipment you have between your legs, I think it's a good idea to find a nice, straight, open piece of road and practice braking. This will give you a really good feel for your bike and how your bike handles when you jam on the brakes. Sure, we've got ABS on our bikes, but that's not necessarily going to save you from dying. It just allows you to jam on the brakes, knowing that the front wheel won't completely lock up. And you'll notice I haven't even talked about wet roads. Having super powerful brakes aren't going to help you in those conditions either. So the next time you're out on a country road on a beautiful sunny day, have a thought about brakes and whether you really are confident in braking in an emergency situation. Like most things in life, you're never going to get good at something unless you practice it. And thinking you'll be safe just because you've got ABS or really terrific equipment between your legs is never going to save you if you haven't practiced your braking. So in conclusion, I think the brakes on my bike are completely adequate for all the situations that I ride in. I'm not riding on a racetrack, and I'm not riding twice the speed limit. And over the years I've learnt that taking responsibility for my own actions is the only way I'm going to stay alive. Relying on others to do the right thing just won't cut it.